Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel Mystic Budgets. Today, tonight, we are going to be going through my weekly spending, basically checking in from Sunday to Sunday, and we're also going to be setting up my meal plan for the second week of May. So if you enjoy things like this, go ahead and one, stick around, two, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and three, grab a drink or a snack so you can come and hang out with me. And let's get this planning done, you guys. I'm excited because I have not done a planning check-in at all in so long. So if you watched my budget setup, my planner setup for the month of May, I wanted to really focus this month on using my planner, sticking to it, and making sure I make this month work in my favor. So... I went ahead and did my setup. So if you have not watched that video, go ahead and check it out. It says budget month, budget the whole month with me or something similar to that. So um, let's go ahead and jump in. I am going to be going from last Sunday to today. Um, so for the first week of May, we did really good. Um, if you watched that video, these are some of my monthly goals. And one of them was to have one no spend day a week. So I did accomplish that. I actually got two no spends. So that's what the highlighted little squares are. Those are going to be my considered my no spend days. So going forward, if you see a highlighted box, that means a no spend day. Um, and I did do a poll on my uh, community tab. And you guys, most of y'all said that a no spend day to you is absolutely no money spent that day. Granted, I, I can't help a bill, so I'm going to like not include bills if a bill pops up obviously but if i did not spend any money out of pocket on my card or anything like that outside of bills then i'm considering that a no spend day so to each their own everybody can work it the way they want to work it that's just how i am going to be doing it so obviously for the first week we got our rent paid um and my no spend day actually was for monday not tuesday i just colored it the wrong square so i had to, i wrote the little arrow to switch it over um, so we had a no spend on Monday and Thursday, uh, Philo, which is, remember I told y'all, I want to go through and see all of my subscriptions. That is something that I really want to work on is figuring out where the heck all our money is going, um, as far as subscriptions wise. So I, I did have Philo, so that came out, um, on the third and then, um, I had Dash Pass come out. That Dash Pass was one that I completely forgot we were subscribed to. So there's one right there. So I just did a little note right here that I need to cancel Dash Pass because we don't use DoorDash enough like that anymore. We definitely did at one point and it's, I think it's worth it because it's 10 bucks a month and you can get the free delivery and discounts, but we're just not using it like we used to. So I'm just going to cancel that. Um, each little, one of the little movie markers right here means that's when I posted a video um, and I did have a little hiccup uh, when I budgeted out my or set up my planner. I put YouTube being paid on the 3rd because I thought it was due on the 3rd for YouTube Music, but it's actually on the 6th. So I went ahead and wrote that down. Um, I did not do a budget with me as far as for this past check um, because my iPad was dead. So I went ahead and just did a bill swap. Check out that video as well. And in that um, budget setup that I did for this week um, or for this past paycheck, we did have a $67 quad pay payment, so I went ahead and wrote that down as well. If you don't know what quad pay is, I believe it's called Zip now, but if you type in quad pay on an app store or um, play store, it is similar to Klarna and Afterpay, where you can use it to pay bills, um, any purchases done online. You can actually create a digital credit card for it, and you only pay the first installment. They split it up in four installments. So this is actually from my Easter trip. We actually use quad pay to pay for our hotel. So this is my third payment. So I have one more payment due on the 21st that I need to write down actually. So let me write that down really quick, quad pay. And this will be my last payment. So quad pay is every two weeks. Um, it's actually a really cool app. They don't start you off with a too, too much money, but it's worth it because obviously uh, they see how you're paying it. If you're paying on time, you're not late, blah, blah, whatever. They increase your amount and you can use it for anything. I've used it in the past to pay um, extremely high light bills. Like I just paid our hotel, um, stuff like that. So it definitely can save the day. Um, 
once this is paid, I def I'm going to consider getting um, like a kind of like a little grill for my back patio. So definitely, I love quad pay. It really helps. All right, you guys. So here's this um, for the first week. These are my expenses. I did my best, you guys, to track my expenses. Um, obviously, on Sunday, we got the rent paid. And I actually wrote down, I budgeted $17.65, but it ended up being $17.78. So I did put that we had to go over $13.91 in my bills account to make up that difference. So this month I need to save a little bit more for rent because it is fluctuating. Um, then on that last Sunday we did do a Wally's, which is a burger place, for $14 out of my spending. HEB, which is grocery, for 6 bucks. Tuesday, me and the hubby got firehouse subs on our way home from a side job. And this was $30. And I put, it is considered out to eat, but I took that out of my business account because I do have a business account um, for my store and then we did another HEB run for $30 out of grocery on Wednesday we paid guarantee loan that was $61.25 I actually budgeted $72 so that was a little good that kind of helped with the overage that we needed for rent so that came out of bills Home Depot we spent $98 at Home Depot but I put boo right here he did work a lot of overtime and got a really good check so he spent $98 at Home Depot because, you know, men and these tools, y'all. So um, then we went to HB again, spent $82 on groceries. Um, groceries is never ending, you guys. I Y'all will see that I go to HB quite often. There is one very close to my house. So 7-Eleven um, was on Friday for gas. I put $30. HEB, we spent another $109. Um, Wally's went to Wally's again for $11.56. Um, Saturday, which was yesterday, went to the thrift store. So, uh, we spent $28.18 there. I took that out of my pop and tags, um, seeking fund because we got some clothes. Um, yesterday we also went to Eastside Kings for $26. That's out to eat. Um, HEB, I did a quick grocery run and, um, I needed some razors and stuff. So I went and did this. So I pulled some money out of household and the rest from grocery. I just literally went to buy eggs and bread, y'all. Tell me why. The eggs are so damn expensive. What the heck is going on? Seriously. The pack, we would normally get like the big pack. I, don't, I forget how many is in there. 36 maybe? I don't know. Um, and that one was usually $5. Okay, now it's $9. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I had to just get a small little 18 pack for 5 bucks. So crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, today is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful moms and stepmoms out there. I hope you all had a wonderful day. I spent my relaxing, um, and we did go eat, and I just got a couple things done today. Went to get my oil changed. I budgeted $70. I took that out of my car maintenance envelope. It was actually $76, but it was because I could not get my damn coupon to download. So... Uh, take five if y'all don't go to take five it is amazing it's so convenient i love those guys there the customer service is always on point um they gave us a bottle of waters they they took really good care of us so uh take five is awesome you don't even have to get out of your car to do your oil change you literally just pull up they'll come to the window hey what you know what did you need today kind of thing and then you'll just tell them what you need hey i'm here for an oil change blah blah you drive up you don't get out your car they do open your they do ask to open your door to scan this little barcode on your door um and it's just so easy like 10 minutes and you're out of there so 76 dollars. so i did have to pull some some six dollars out of one of my other envelopes um and then we went to a buffet i paid 25 and my son picked up the rest of the tab for 30 bucks so that was his little um going out to uh mother's day gift to me so that came out of the out to eat envelope, which is now empty. <laughs> um, and then I also just went to Dollar Tree real quick because there was a Dollar Tree next to the buffet that I hadn't been to yet. So I went to check out, see what they had. So we took that out of spending. All right. I did go ahead and track my bills to see what all has been paid, the dates that they're getting paid, and obviously to write in the new stuff. So like Dash Pass, Quad Pay. I'm... <laughs> I'm kind of nervous to see how much, um, how much other subscriptions are about to be coming out and see what the damage gets, how the damage is. So, all right, friends, if you're still here, it's time to do my dinner menu for the week. So I did go ahead and just make this out of a whim right quick. Um, and it is available on the website, of course, for download. 
So I'm going to just fill this in with you guys. Um, and of course, you can print this out as many times as you need, as many times as you want. And yeah, this is just what I do. I normally just write down in a little notebook, but I'm going to be doing it like this and just keeping it with me. I can keep it in my purse. I can leave it on the fridge, whatever. I can take it with me to the grocery store, however I want to do it. So let's just go ahead and start filling this in. I'm going to do it in a marker just so y'all can see a little bit better. So for tonight's dinner, I'm just doing leftovers. I made chicken Alfredo last night. And we're just going to do a simple leftover Alfredo. So that's all we're doing for tonight. Because tomorrow is Monday and I'm not feeling uh, cooking and dirtying up the kitchen. So so leftover Alfredo. Um, Monday, we're going to do Texas tamale pie. If you have not had that, oh my God. It is bomb, bomb, bomb. I am going to do a recipe video on that. I will make a recipe video on Monday and post it sometime this week. So... Um, Tuesday, we're going to do leftovers. We are a big leftovers family. I am not scared to eat those leftovers. Wednesday, we're going to do a breakfast for dinner. I'm thinking breakfast tacos, something fast, easy, whatever. So I'm just going to put breakfast here. Um, I do have some leftover bacon from Saturday that should still be good by Wednesday. And I'm just going to go ahead and just cook that up and figure out what I'm going to do with that. Um, Thursday, we are going to be doing a chicken cauliflower bake and let's see Friday I'm gonna do leftovers for that from that I always cook for like a family of eight and we're only three at the moment um, unless my my bonus is here we're only four so I always cook very big Saturday we're gonna probably go out to eat on Saturday um, but that might change um, so if it does I can always just fill that in later um, so let's just go into our shopping list. So the way I do my shopping list for dinner, granted, I do also have a shopping list for just like our lunches, um, snacks, whatever stuff to have in the house. But, uh, for dinner, this is really, I just write down a quick list because this is the main thing that we shop for. Everybody does breakfast on their own lunch. We're at work all week. So we do lunch here or lunch at work. And my son does lunch at school. So all that will change when school is out, but Right now, the main focus is dinner. That's really the only meals that I cook um, and breakfast on the weekend sometimes. So, all right, um, shopping list. I'm going to need for the tamale pie. I already got some ingredients, but I do need cornbread. I need a cornbread mix. Um, I already bought enchilada sauce for it. That's there. Um, I do need some shredded cheese. And what else do I need for that? I have a little can of corn. And I think that, oh, uh, duh, the main, the main ingredient, I need some ground meats. I was going to get ground meat the other day, but the only ground meat they had was the discounted ground meat. It'll say like, it'll have a 25% off sticker. And I learned my lesson. I bought one of those and oh my God, y'all, when I opened that thing, mm -mm -mm -mm, it was disgusting. It smelled horrible. I had to go return it. Um, so I'm, I was like, nope, I'll wait. So anyways, that's going to be Monday. I already have everything else I need for it. So skipping on to Wednesday, um, breakfast. If we're going to do tacos, I do need some tortillas. I already have eggs. I already have bacon. I'll already have shredded cheese from my tamale pie. So I'm good on Wednesday. Um, Thursday chicken bake. I already have chicken breasts in my freezer. So I'm good with that because I bought a family pack of chicken breasts when I made the Alfredo yesterday. So all I would need would be some cauli rice, which I just buy frozen. I do need one block of cream cheese. And what else do I need? I think that's it. Rice, chicken, cream cheese, cheese. That's all. Um, let's see. Leftovers is going to be leftovers from the chicken bake. I might get some broccoli. I don't know. I might get broccoli just to add a little bit more veg. Um, and that's it. Like this looks so small. It looks so small, but it's because I try to, especially my meat. I try to just like buy everything, excuse me, in a family pack so that I don't have to really worry about all that. So 
Um, if we go out to eat Saturday, then obviously we're going out to eat. So literally this is my damn shopping list for dinner. Was not expecting it to be that small. I thought I was going to have a little bit more to show y'all, but obviously that's all I'm getting. So, which is fine. That's better because it's going to work for the budget. Um, my grocery budget is, I think I had, ooh, I think I had like $20, $30 left. So this is going to work for me because I spent way too damn much money at the grocery store because it's so expensive now. Just crazy. Um, but yeah, you guys, that wraps up my video. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comment section. If you have any concerns, drop them in the comment section. If you just want to say, what's up, Mel, drop that in the comment section. I love interacting with you guys. I hope you all had an amazing weekend. Tomorrow is Monday. It's back to the grind. And tomorrow I will be posting my sinking fun video. And I'll be announcing my winner of the $25 gift card to Starbucks. Um, I'm still deciding if I'm going to split it in two so that two people can win, but we're still, I don't know yet. We'll see. Tomorrow I will choose that winner and I will be announcing another giveaway for this next week. Remember in the month of May, I'm doing four giveaways, one every Monday. So I love you guys. Don't forget that you matter. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're special. I love you. If no one told you those things today, I'm telling you right now. And I hope you have an amazing, restful night. I will see you guys tomorrow, mañana, for my Sigifa video. And yeah, I will see y'all later. Bye.